fellow floss tubers, it's Patty here with episode 254. Today is March the 11th, 2024. And on today's show, I have lots of whips to show you. So sit back and relax. Grab your beverage of choice, water for me. Your craft of choice and let's chat. So how was everybody's week? Mine is getting back to normal. Um, we did have some issues around the house this week but for the most part it's just kind of been going it's been going um on thursday i had my first physical therapy and uh, my knee did not like it it's still not liking it so i am trying to do the exercises but i'm not pushing myself to do them if it is ha if i'm having a bad knee day i just don't um i do know that the one muscle that was really hurting isn't hurting as bad so that's really good but it has decided to change to a different muscle and that one really hurts below the knee so yeah I'm having to deal with that um on Thursday Wednesday or Thursday I can't remember what day it was um we noticed that the boiler was turning itself off and giving us overheating or out of water so it was really strange. We had our tech come over and he discovered that there was a loose nut inside the boiler itself and it was dripping water onto the pump, which was dripping water onto the sensors. And those sensors were, were misfiring and they're probably corroded because we don't know how long it had been dripping, but it's evident it had been dripping for a while which really is bad since this thing is only two years old. <laughs> It'll be two years old this year. So um, then, of course, there was no sensors in stock anywhere. Um, we had to take it off of a uh, sample boiler. And um, so they're sitting here waiting for the tech. He called out sick today. We're, we still have heat. It's no big thing. It shuts itself off once a day with the overheat code um i turn it back on she runs again for another 24 hours and then i have to go redo it so it's it's kind of strange how it's happening and it's it's weird it's weird but it's keeping the house warm it's keeping the water heated and of course it is the main boiler um if you've been here for during our remodel we have two boilers one for the new section of the house and one for the old and the old one has the wa hot water heat heated through that system as well so when that main boiler goes down we have no hot water too so <laughs> that one is really important um so yeah hopefully he will be feeling better in the next couple of days and can fix it um the temperature it's still i mean it's cold in the mornings but it gets above zero in the afternoon so it's not like it's running constantly either so I think that's probably why too it's not triggering a lot is that it's it's not running a whole lot because of the temperature um anything else Friday we did have the garage door replaced they he did come we got a brand new garage door it is so quiet <laughs> it is so quiet it's crazy um, and, um, and it is helping keeping the garage warmer. It, it went up at least five degrees and I know that doesn't sound a lot, but it, it's a lot. Um, taking it from 40 to 50s and the, from the 40s to the 50s in that garage is pretty good. So the less likely to have it freeze up. Um, and that's at the back of the garage. So the front of the garage is warmer because of the heat that's getting pumped in there. So that's, that's nice to know that the back of the garage is warming up now and the front of the garage will be warmer. Um, Sunday, we had the littles. Um, their Mimi is visiting and they're really happy that Mimi is visiting and um, they're having a good time. And we had a great time playing and the littlest man and I cuddled for a long time and he usually doesn't do that very often, but he sat in my lap the whole time while we watched No Malone. That's their new favorite movie. So Grandma has seen it two and a half times. <laughs> it's cute. It is a cute movie. And then we watched another movie and The Littlest Man. It was a movie he picked and it was scary, he said. <laughs> 
So he sat with grandpa during that one. Um, yeah. Anything else? I think that's it. So shall we get on with the stitching? I think so. All right. We had a mirror Monday last week. I worked on touching the autumn sky. I am stitching her on 32 count stormy by picture this plus. And I did finish the back of the apron except for the beading. And I started working on her legs and the dress. So yay for that. I'm really hoping to get this done in the next couple of months. But Mondays are so hard. <laughs> I do this. I do laundry on Mondays. What else? I just kind of clean up from after the grandkids were around. So <laughs> Mondays are kind of, kind of a hard day. But I'm glad to uh, be working on her. So you can follow along with my progress. And Jessie Marie does us is also working on her touching the autumn sky. So, so that's exciting. I did work on One Dozen Quaker, which is a sal with EJ from Sunshine Stitchers called Bake Me a Quaker Sal. I was able to do March, so I got all of March's um, section completed. I am stitching this on 32 Count Dune by Atomic Ranch Fabrics. And I'm using the call for thread. So here it is. I really like it. It's, it was fun to work on this week. I was really happy to work on it. And get that done. And so it is done and out of the way until next month. Okay, and I pulled out this oldie because I want I really want to get this done and it's going to take forever unless I start really working on it and of course that is Prairie Schoolers ABCs I am stitching this on 28 count wheat by Zeit Weigert so Weigert and I am working on D is for drum right now okay and I almost finished the drum so I had just started working on the drum over here, so I finished all this red that you see. So I just have to finish the drum, finish the stripes, finish that blue, and then put the eagle in, and then there's some back stitching over here. And then D is for drum, it will be done, and I can move on to the next E for embroidery. Let me slip these back in here real quick so I don't lose anything. Okay. And then I worked on Autumn Dreams by Cottage Garden. Oops. And I'm stitching this on 36 Count Sanguine by Weeks Dye Works. And this is an old Weeks. But I have gotten used to it. And I'm using one thread over two. I finished this um, leaf, started working on this leaf, and I worked some more on the uh, vine that wraps around the word dream and the pumpkin and that, I think that's a tick mouse, but I'm not sure. But so I am over here. I have some more of this vining to uh, stitch. I have that. I have the pumpkin and the bird so I still have quite a bit to do but I think I can finish that this year as long as I keep working on it this is the pile over here that I pull for um, first and then if I can't figure out what I want to stitch then I go over to a different pile I then worked on Gamer Nouveau by Medusa Dollmaker charted by Gecko Rouge I'm stitching this with the Call 4 floss and fabric. This is on 25 count, one over one. And I got about 400-ish stitches done on this this week. Most of it was on Saturday and Sunday. Actually, most of it was on Sat Sunday. <laughs> I just wasn't feeling stitching this, this week, so. 
I watched TV and did the VR, and that's what I did. I talked to two of my cousins back from back east, so that's awesome. Hi. Um, yeah. So, other than that, that's about all I did. I didn't even touch my stitching, or my knitting, I mean, sorry about that. And I did do some purging. I'm still having to purge more stuff trying to get rid of the stuff that I know now I don't need to keep anymore um so yeah it's purging time big time purging time so looking around I really don't have anything else to talk to you guys about I do have some plans they're really loosey-goosey of course my Mira the ABCs um I don't have to do the um one dozen Quaker since I've caught up but yeah, I think that's all I have for you this week. So I hope that you are all staying safe, healthy, and happy. And I hope that whatever you craft, you craft it to your heart's content. And I will see you next week. Bye, guys.